Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer.com. Today on our 2017 Jeep Patriot, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the eTrailer.com Class 3 2 inch trailer hitch receiver. Now, what I really like about this hitch is that for the most part it's completely hidden. The only thing you're really going to see is the receiver tube. Now, although many other hitches are set up this same way, the one thing that kind of sets this one apart is the finish. It has a carbide matte black finish, which is powder coat, so it's going to stand up to the elements really well and look good for a long time. And it also blends in nicely with this flat black plastic here on the bottom of our Jeep. Since this is a class 3 hitch, it's going to have that 2 inch by 2 inch opening, and it's going to work with just about any hitch mounted accessory out there. It's also going to have a reinforced collar for extra strength. It's going to have the standard 5A size pinhole. Now keep in mind, it does not come included with a pin and clip, but if you need one, you can find it here at eTrailer. It does have loop style safety chain openings, which are quite large and open enough to use just about any size hook that you might have. Another thing I noticed is that the receiver tube is going to come out a little ways and that's not only going to make it easier to access as far as hooking up and disconnecting, but it's also going to give us some pretty good clearance. That's going to work really well for those folding accessories. Many Jeep owners plan on using their vehicle to do a little bit of everything. This is going to be a great versatile hitch for that. As far as the maximum gross tongue weight rating goes, it's going to be 400 pounds, or the amount of weight pushing down on our hitch. So that's going to be perfect for those one to three bike racks and many different cargo carriers out there. As far as the maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, that's going to be 4,000 pounds of the amount of weight pulling on our hitch. So that's the weight of your trailer plus anything you might have on it. Now it is always a good idea to check with your owner's manual to make sure your Jeep can pull out much weight. And if you do plan on doing a little bit of towing, I would recommend picking up some trailer wiring. That way it'll be safe and legal while you do so. All in all, this is one of the hitches that I prefer personally, really just because of the fact that it blends in really well when I'm not using it. Now I'll give you a couple of measurements, and you're going to use these to help figure out which hitch mounted accessories to get. From the ground to the top of the inside edge of our receiver tube opening, that's about 13 inches. And you're going to use that to figure out if you need to get a ball mount with either a drop or a rise. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of our rear bumper, that's about 6 inches. And you're going to use that to help figure out if any folding accessories you might have can be stored in the upright position without contacting the bumper. Now as far as the installation goes, it's relatively straightforward. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put the hitch on together now. To begin our installation, we're going to remove six plastic fasteners along the bottom edge of our fascia. To get them off, you're going to take a trim panel tool or a flathead screwdriver, kind of just pry underneath the head of the fastener and you're able to pull it down. You completely remove it. Now I'm going to use that same method to get the other remaining fasteners. Now if we come to our wheel well, here at the bottom we're going to have a 7 millimeter screw that we need to take out. We'll go ahead and do that on the other side as well. Now we need to lower our exhaust, but before we do that, I like to use a strap. Just run it from side to side. And that way our exhaust will have some support and not just be hanging on its own. We're going to have two rubber isolator hangers that we need to remove. One here and one on the other side of our muffler, just like this. Now to remove these, it helps to spray them down with some lubricant or soapy water. It uh, makes it easier to get off. And then you can just take a pry bar and work that hanger off of our exhaust. I'll do that same thing on the other one. Now with both of them removed, we can loosen up our strap, lower the exhaust down, that way we have some more room to work. We're going to remove our heat shield. That's held in place by four 10 millimeter nuts. You can just grab it and work it off of the studs and set it off to the side. I like to point out where our attachment points are going to be that'll hold the hitch to the frame of our vehicle. We're going to have two holes 
one here, and one here. And before we put our hitch up, we can work our hardware through. So we'll take a bolt with the flat washer. We're going to come to the other side of the frame rail. Just push those bolts through. And before we put our hitch up, it's a good idea to pull these back just so the end of the bolt is right inside of the frame rail. On the other side is set up the exact same way. So I'll do that over there as well. Now with the next set of hands, we'll take our hitch, kind of work it above our exhaust. All right, now once we have our holes in the hitch lined up at the frame, what we're going to do is take this bolt closest to the front of the vehicle, push that through the corresponding hole in the hitch. Then we're going to take a flange nut and just get it on hand tight for now. So now what we're gonna do is take our hitch and kind of turn it forward. And that'll give us a really good idea of where to cut our fascia. So we'll make some marks on each side. And go up to about this first lip. And then we can make that cut, swing it up, see if everything fits perfectly. If it doesn't, we can make a few adjustments and go from there. I'm gonna use a Dremel tool to cut out our opening. However, it is relatively thin plastic, so you could use a pair of snips or even a utility knife. It's out of the way, we swing our hitch up. Look up top, make sure those top holes in the hitch line up. We'll put our bolt through. And secure each side, again, with a flange nut. Now with all of our hardware in place, we can snug it all down. Now we can use a torque wrench to tighten all of our hardware down to the specification found in our instructions. With everything torqued, now put our heat shield back in place, line it up over the studs. and re-secure it using the same hardware. Now we can raise our exhaust back into position, line it up with the hangers, and just push them back into place. Once it's supporting itself, we can go ahead and take off our strap. Now we can go ahead and reinstall our push pins. And don't forget to come back over to your wheel wells and put your screws back in. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the eTrailer.com trailer hitch receiver on our 2017 Jeep Patriot.